Um, right, it is time for Team of the Week 14. That is why we're here. We yes, reveal sir. Team of the Week at 6 o'clock. It is almost 6 o'clock. I keep checking my watch. We're not quite there yet. But what we can do now is make our predictions for who we think will make the cut. Are you ready for this? I am, you know. Let's get into it because... T actually did say to me earlier on, before we started the show, that we might have a 100% prediction rate today with our picks. I started off with Jordi Alba, Barcelona, of course, one assist and a clean sheet in their 1-0 win over Girona. Um, Barca still top of La Liga and Jordi Alba played obviously a big part in maintaining that position. We talked about Casper Schmeichel earlier. I'm bumping this man up to 80-70. We said seven saves, clean sheet, man of the match in their 1-0 win over Lille. So let's see if he makes the cut. And Martinez is my striker that I have picked from Inter Milan. Two goals and man of the match in their 2-1 win over Cremonese. I don't even know how to say yeah, it. I think, I think that might be Should right, we go with yeah. that? Yeah, why okay, not? Cool. Um, talk us through your picks. Yeah, I mean, again, like you mentioned, I think we might be six for six. I've gone with Dominic Soboslai, two goals. Um, for Leipzig scoring a free kick and a beautiful, beautiful volley. So I've put him there as an 82. Again, I've also gone with Domenico Berardi, instrumental in that 5-2 win over Milan, that almost that shock win over Milan. So he's gone in there, played a pivotal part in that with one goal and what three assists. What a shock win that was that as well, wasn't it? That so, is so crazy. I was not expecting that, but yeah. you know, you've got to give it. Football is football, that's what I always say, man. And then Yusuf M. Nezri scoring two goals for Sevilla in what I thought was game of the weekend, a very, very good game. So I've given him an 84 as well. So I think, I think, I really hope that we're six for six this week. I think if, if we are six for six and all six of our picks make the cut, it would help us stack up to potentially having a better team of the week than last week. Yeah, Do you agree? I think, so. I think so, yeah. I mean, Jordi Alba, I could see people using him as well as Kasper Schmeichel. Now, especially with there being, I think there's three team of the years, Hakimi, Messi and Mbappe that are all in league on. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you could get Kasper Schmeichel to give you those beautiful, beautiful links in there as well. So I think, I'm hoping this team of the week is good. I'm excited for it. I just want to give Junior our camera up. Could you do me a favour, Junior? Could you just show Harry on screen one more time? I know oh. we're spoiling the surprise. Harry is our guest. We're going to cut across to her in just a second. We will get there in a moment. I've, I've caught my man off guard here. <laughs> but Harry, right, as we are about to reveal Team of the Week, can you do me a favour? Can you give us a drum roll, please? Okay, yeah, sure, sure. Here sure. we go. I thought you were going to ask me to say something football related. I was like, <laughs> no, <laughs> no can do, sir. Ready? Here it comes. And three of Team of the Week on screen. There it is, Woo! Team of the Week 14 is here and this is the point where I'm, I'm just desperately scanning to see who's made the cut. The T, you've got a better eyesight than me. Um, I'm not seeing too many of ours here actually. Oh, I, I see, to be fair, I see Martinez. Martinez is there. I see Berardi, I see Hoffman, which we didn't say. Oh, how many is that? Is that two? I think we just got the two. Yeah, we did. So let's talk through some of the names on here. Of course, Martinez has been bumped up to 88, which puts him in line with a couple of other players as the highest rated performer. Uh, 88 is the max out, it looks like to me. Um, like I said, two goals for Inter Milan um, to save his side from a pretty, uh, would, would have been a disappointing defeat. Any other names standing out to you other than the ones we picked out, T? Um, again, I like the look of that Mavididi. Um, 88 rated left mid, I think that says 95 pace and 88 dribbling. I know for a fact, that a lot of people are going to be bringing him off the bench. Mm -hmm. Those latter stages when it's like the 78th, 80th minute and you want, you know, you want a bit of pace, yeah. someone to run down the wing, but someone that can still control the game and control the ball from obviously the wing and cut inside and score. So I think he's got decent, decent stats. 87 shooting, 88 dribbling. I'm definitely going to be seeing him in the weekend league this weekend. Again, Berardi and Martinez, like we mentioned. Hoffman. Again, two goals, one assist this weekend. So it'd be rude if we didn't see him yeah. in this team of the week as well. And DePaul, I'm not too sure. I think he was instrumental in their one nil win. But I think, you know, I was, I was, I'm a little bit surprised to see DePaul. But one thing I've actually noticed as well is this week, compared to last week, yeah. a lot of them are high 80s. Last week, it was like mid, we had Mares who was an 88, and I think we had one more 88 in El Shirari. But this week, there's a lot more 87s, 88s. Um, and it looks it looks all right. I'm not going to lie. I like the yeah, look I, of it. I don't. I, I never hate to see some 70s in there as well. Of course, we've got uh, Campbell's in there at 77. Um, a few more 70s in there as well. It's a bit higher than last week, isn't it? We, yep. could, we across the board. If we're if we're judging this on a whole, you could say that this is a better team of the week than than 13. But 
still it's that, that everlasting debate of what does it take for one of these players to make it into someone's squad who's watching right now? Yeah, I mean, it's always going to be very, very difficult. I think if you have a Serie A team, then maybe you could squeeze the likes of Martinez and Boradi in. But again, there's no player that really gets it across the line. There's no player I would think, OK, cool, I've got... Pogba in my team or Messi in my team and Ronaldo in my team and all these other icons and stuff. Yeah, and yeah. Because we're so far into the game now and there's so much to do, so much to open, it's always going to be hard to sort of fit these cards in and try and make them work. Well, it brings me on to my next question, I guess. Why would you? Do you know, if, if you were to make the argument that you, that you should maybe try out some of these cards, what would be the argument for doing so? Um, I think change. Yeah. I think with... FIFA, it's always down to the individual as well. So for me, for example, I have my main team, yep. but I love to try out different cards. I love to try out different um, leagues and all that sort of stuff. So mm -hmm. what I normally do, and what quite a few other creators do, is we kind of make like past and present teams. So like what I've done is I've got an Arsenal past and present team, yeah. where I'll get like Thierry Henry, um, his icon card, and mix it in with like a Bukayo Saka or something like that. So for things like that, Team of the Week is beautiful because... Well, it's like if you're a fan of Arsenal, you get to create your dream team. Yeah, exactly. Team. Your dream team from all the eras almost. Yeah, yeah, and that's yeah. that's the beauty of Ultimate Team, I guess, is creating your Ultimate Team, um, ironically. So in this <laughs> case, you know, Inter, you could have maybe Samuel Eto or Diego Milito. You've got Lucio as well. Now you've got Martinez, you've got yeah. Lukaku. All these sort of players that you can kind of mix in and make it work. Or you could go league-based as well. I know quite a few people do specific league teams. So in that case, again, if we go to Syria, you've got the likes of Martinez. You've now got Berardi for your right wing. Or if you want to go La Liga, you've got Depaul. So I think it's all it's all depending on the person that's you know playing the game. I'm not going to sit here and say you know none of those team of the weeks will make any team. Yeah. Because again, it's all down to preference. Of and course. What you want to make. That's the beauty work. of it. Yeah, that's the beauty of Ultimate Team. Um, I'm going to start doing this on every episode now. I'm going to ask you to rate the team of the week out Ooh, of five stars. Okay. How many stars are you giving this one? Out of five, this one I'll give three. Mm, can I be specific? Yeah, like, yeah, you can give like 3.1 if you want. Oh, yeah, three. I'll give it 3.8. 3.8? Yeah. 3. Hey, that's 8. decent. It's not bad. It's not, it's not up there, but you know, it's just a bit up above the base. Okay, cool. Well, speaking of the team of the week, I just want to mention if you haven't seen on Twitter already, at Guild Esports, if you're not following us, what you're doing, it's the only account we're following. Um, and Samsung, of course, Samsung UK. <laughs> Follow them as well. Um, we are actually doing a bit of a fun giveaway, right? So the, TN knows what makes a good ultimate team. If you think that your ultimate team is a banger, make sure you take a screen grab of it, a screenshot, maybe you list it, and tweet us at Guild Esports. If he thinks it's good, we've got some Xbox Game Passes to give away, and it could be yours. So check us out right now at Guild Esports. 